the future is uh, well, one and an uncertain thing. Um, and it requires a certain flexibility, I think, for the material to adapt and to cope with the new um, requirements that the future will set. So I think that there's a possibility here to see the brick as a material that would also, in the future, still be of relevance. Um, I think that's there where we have to search for it. So what could the brick be? What else could it do? Um, our project in the, in the Netherlands, the Crystal Houses, is an um, exploration of this. We used a complete transparent brick, you could say. It was a glass brick. Um, and we built a complete historical facade out of this to see if we could merge the history of the place actually with a new desire of current shop owners to have more transparency. So the facade became transparent even in its old state. Um, but we shouldn't stop there, right? It's just one more way of having this brick um, kind of work in a different way. So a transparent brick is nice, but can we also have a glowing brick, for instance? Or can we also have a green brick or a brick that slowly dissolves over time? Or a light emitting brick or, I don't know, a silver brick? Uh, I think there's endless possibilities that we should explore and to see what this material could, could do for us and what this format, this modular form, could, uh, could bring us to um, keep on having the brick as a, well, a material that makes a difference in the future.